Hi there, I'm Andrew and welcome back to uh, a new episode of Pathfinder. We are currently under in the underground caves of Canabrus and in the last episode, the first one, we have created our character, our demon slayer, Arik, and we just met uh, Lan and uh, Vendurag. Th those characters are very important for the development of the story. And now we just uh, suggested that we might help them looking for a sword. And this sword is going to change entirely the way we continue in our in, a, in our adventure. But I don't want to spoil her too much, so you're gonna see. I just move around with all my group, uh, so I'm using my perception bonus for all the secret loot. Great. And now we can get across here. Okay, fine. Okay, we cannot get across because we have to find the relic. <clears throat> In order to find the relic, I think that we need to win a um, perception... Um, perception... Shot here. Nope. We just have to touch the, <laughs> the rubble of rocks. The pile of rocks. And here we go. This is a sword. Okay, I'm not going to read the full text, but I will always give you some time to press pause, leave a like button, and read the text. But just to just just for me, I'm going to read, to quickly go through the text. So we are basically having a vision, and uh, we realize that uh, a group of people betrayed us and stabbed us. They're in front of us; we can see them, but we can also see a lady. It's close to us, and she's also wounded. Uh, we will try to heal her. So the vision becomes more complex, but uh, we can now use um, our will or our knowledge to beat the illusion. Um, I think I'm going to use my will because I have a plus six with will, but the check fails. So we are still witnessing this vision. And I think that now we see the Skadi. And the god of locust and death is, uh, you know, holding the poor angel's throat and is threatening him. Alright. So a strange kind envelops to the thoughts of the one called Lariel, the angel. He recognizes who stands before him and he knows he will never bow down before this enemy. The flaming sword flares to life in his hand, bright, pure, flickering with multicolored sparks, like a sunbeam through stained glass. Slash. And now, you will kill me, monster. This, this I know, but one day someone will come here and raise up my sword. So, and how we, do we finish this sentence? This is the most important part of this event. And save and protect the innocent. I always try to take, uh, let's say, a legal, a lawful good path not vengeance, but justice. And now, the, as you see, uh, the vision disappears. Our wound, the wound that the, uh, that, uh, the dragon healed, uh, hey. is open now. Are you all right? But... You were kind of glowing. Jo so, Sila kneels. That, that was it. The light of heaven. The what light of heaven uh, upon us, yes. What did you do with it? Where did it go? I think I saw the memories of Lariel, the angel who died here. Lariel? That really was Lariel? The angel from the legends? You. Thousands of gongs and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Now, now, Wentuag, don't be a sore loser. So now the two mongers start we arguing. To tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but you and Sol, you just but refused. Without to uh, further ado, we, we can interrupt we their argument, just proving them that we can the control abyss. the light of heaven. So now we can actually summon the light of heaven. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. 
amazing. Heaven has truly blessed you. This power is the most majestic thing I've... Yes, it's similar. But this light is so, more... Let's ask Lan to lead us to his chef, Chief and then we will decide what to do with his now, request. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, very good. So we are going now to the mongrel, uh, mongrel's encampment, um, and now we have a protection from the evil for ten minutes, which is good. I also wanted to check if I have the chance. Here we go. The light of the angels. Uh, this is our new. A supernatural power. All creatures within 20 foot burst center on caster. You summon a soothing light, warming the heart of your allies and obscuring the vision of your enemies. Every ally in 20 feet radius gets one temporary hit point for one hour, and the enemies become dazzled for one to four rounds. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty strong, uh, it's it's a pretty strong uh, uh, bonus for. Being the beginning of the oh man, I, I really I really have to stop with this tutorial. And now I want to play uh, still a turn base. I believe that I forgot to put here my ability. So I gave the light of the angel uh, to Vendwang and Lan, but not to Sil and Camellia, unfortunately. So those two characters are both uh, ranged. I will try to target the young spider and kill him. They'll beg me to stop. I'll cut you wide open. Pity Camellia didn't hit uh, the, 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 the spider. Let me see if... Now I can shoot. Ah, wait a minute. I can use the point blank shot. You get the plus one bonus on attack and damage roll with ranged weapons at ranges up to 30 feet. Yeah, let's use it. You've crossed the wrong okay, he throws two arrows, but he misses every time. And now the giant spider is targeting um, Camellia. And she's also getting two strength damage. That's bad. Celia probably now has to use this Might Evil, which is a very strong uh, ability. And now that we uh, use this Might Evil, um, this is a swift action, so we can now attack. The attack rolls add to the Paladin level to all the damage rolls. So I think that we can really give a big, big damage to this spider. If we hit, and we didn't. Pity. Okay, now it's uh, again our turn. I target the small one, but I don't kill it. Pity. I hope that Vendwag will manage. Yes, Vendwag does. And now be careful because Camellia has only one hit point. Camellia has only one hit point, and the spiders are here too close. I want to use uh, a standard action. I don't have, unfortunately, any sort. I, can I give to Camellia this potion? Not really, right? Mm -hmm. Camellia has to try to heal herself using uh, one. Well, wonderful. She heal herself, but uh, but now she cannot fa um, strike. Very bad. Once again, Camellia is hit. We try to strike. Nothing. Let's get closer. Let's use again this Light of Angels so the enemies are getting kind of. Wow! There was a nine. Okay, let's get close to this spider. I, I, I want to try to make him attack Vendwag and not Camellia anymore, but it seems difficult. Okay. Go for their not really. Oh, come on. Okay, guys, Camellia has zero hit points. 
She might die if we don't do something. Great. Very good. Make every strike count. I, I'm not sure if uh, Lan is uh, having the right uh, setup because he's missing every time. And this giant spider has a very, very high. Uh, how can I call it? Armor class. So maybe fight it defensively might be a problem i i will i will fight i will stop fighting defensively with uh sila we can do it wonderful wonderful guys arika hits Forward. six eight points no match for me right four i go a little bit further and now lan uh... No, okay, okay. Now we're shooting. We hit twice. We hit twice. We hit a critical. Lan killed it. At the end, Lan killed it. Okay. Good thing. Um, now, Camellia is uh, back. But uh, the problem is that she has one hit point. And I'm not really sure how much uh, we have still to fight before we uh, find better she doesn't have a lot of hit points you know thanks Lan. you're so awesome Lan. okay there is there is here some extra caves probably oh the last one huh earth elementals three of them Ready for battle. I am ready. Okay, probably I am going to give Sela an enchantment. I want I'm going to enlarge her and make her stronger. Because she's our tank has to stop those little things. And I'm afraid that it's not going to be so easy. Mm-hmm. So the small earth elemental are now charging Sela. I still strike always to the weakest one. Okay, now it's Sela's turn. Ah, she's missing. And now it's their turn. They're immune to poison stun, critical hit, precision damage, conditions, lead paralyzing stun. Okay. Let's enchant Camellia's weapon and attack. Okay, wonderful. Lan killed another one. The, I, Lan killed the first one. Oh! Wow! Guys, uh, Scylla is now, has now uh, minus 5 hit points. So that's not good at all. Um, Strike with all your we're fight. We, we, we're now fighting without our best fighter. She's stabilized, I guess. So Camellia needs to strike the weakest. All right. Make every strike count. Unfortunately, with arrows, it's not that simple. But now we now, now we kill them almost all. All of them. All right. So, okay, the elemental is missing. Now we can shoot three arrows and one strike with the, the rapier of Camellia. And she hits three, three damage. Did you've crossed the wrong mongrel? Okay. I, I find it tricky to kill this thing only with ranged weapons, but it doesn't have. A, a, it's not very precise, so it's not that easy to hit Camille for him. 
Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. We have been lucky. Okay, we have some loot. What is this? Wand of Cure Light Wounds. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I don't know how many how many charges we have, but uh, we will use it in combat. 15, that's great. What can we do here? Battle Spirit. A Shaman surrounds herself with the Spirit of Battle, allies within 30 feet of the Shaman, receive one morale bonus on attack rolls and weapon damage rolls. Guys, I, I forgot that I have this. And the Ghost Touch Spirit... A ghost touch weapon is damaged normally against incorporeal creatures, regardless of its bonus. Okay, I have to I also put this here. And I'm going to recall one enchantment here, and we cure the light wounds of Sila. Great. Let's get back. So this this fight was not that difficult, and we earned the a curative wound, so the mongrel did it. I'm happy about that. Alright, mosquitoes. I I want to see if I am getting a level soon, but it, it doesn't look like so. I need to be careful. Let's get ready for battle with the first shot. And also the second. Let's wait, let's wait. This thing has to come at us because we have so many ranged um, characters. Oh! We got, we got a disease. Demon Plague. One day. Oh. Damage 1 to 3 constitution, 1 to 6 wisdom. Shit. Now we are sick. Come on. Um, I, I think that this is done, right? No, there is another fly. Oh. I didn't see that coming. And a spitting giant centipede. Okay. And another one. That's bad. And another one. That's very bad. Uh, th that's very bad. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, Anavia is also helping us now. Thank you. I will try to escape. Okay, uh, we, we managed to avoid the uh, attack of opportunities. Wonderful. Wonderful. Very good. Very good. So, th this is teaching me that I need really to be careful. Oh, loot. Look at this thing. Nothing very spectacular. but Nothing super good, but could be worse. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go back. Go back before it starts. It started already. Uh, we have a lot of spiders now. So, I'm going to use now this special ability and I'm boosting the weapons of my of my party the giant spider is now charging Scylla let me focus to, uh, on him it's too strong Vindrog should do the same what the heck Vindrog managed to strike a critical hit and she dealt 27 damage and the biggest spider literally exploded this was such a great shot, really. She might have saved the battle. Alright, now it's our turn. Uh, we could use our little crossbow, but I'm going to use the Light of the Angels just to, you know... Shit. And the Navia can help again. Yes, sir. And now it's Sela's turn. Not really good. Um, Camellia, what are you doing? You are today's 
sacrifice. You won't survive me. <laughs> Wonderful. Vendrog is really doing well. She's really doing well now. Perfect. Perfect. We managed. Very good. Now let's get this loot. There's also a Kalma here. Oh, please tell me that we arrived. Nope. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you and I are the only two people here who see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you, don't show the light of heaven to Sal. All right. Lan is sure that the light should be shown to the mongrels. Lan, he wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? To me, it sounds like suicide. The worst part is that the tribe might actually take his words to heart, heart and follow where he leads. I thought you considered the mongrels to be great warriors. The descendants of great warriors, she answers. So, then Vendrug is arguing with Arik and she's pointing out that the mongrels are not ready to see this light and this is going to lead them into disaster. We should not show that light. I, I'm just saying I will think about that. Let's go. But I didn't promise her anything because I want to show the light to the mongrels. And now we can go to Nithholm. And I think that we managed, guys. I think we escaped the first dungeon without too much uh, disaster. Uh, but we need to be careful because some of our uh, characters are sick. Uh, our main character is also sick. And here we go. Here we have the mongrels. The map is pretty big, if I remember, yeah? So... Follow me. Let's have a look if we find something interesting. All right, we have an impression uh, that this mongrel village is a squalid dump with the odors of too, uh, too much, so it's stinky as hell. And now we find Chief Sal. A plunder share and time is share upon us indeed. Okay, we found the Angel's Ward and we find and uh, we found the one who can who can wield it, wield it. I apologize if sometimes I do mistakes with my pronunciation. Of course, I'm obviously not a native speaker in English, but I, I do my best. <laughs> All right. So, what are we doing? I'm lawful, and I want to have the I, I have the angel mythic path. So I'm going to reveal the light of heaven in front of Sal, and I perform an action that was lawful. So it's true, the angel did not forsake us. No, he came back from the dead. He came to save our children. Lan gives you a nod of thanks. The scaled half of his face is indifferent, but the human half is visibly relieved, as if he wasn't sure all this time that he would support him. Vendrug hisses at you like an angry cat. See these fishermen and these hunters, this husk of men and women, their blood would be on your hands. I won't, I won't say anything. You don't even know what to say to that, do you? You're a coward and now the murderer of innocence. The accusation is very harsh. You always think the worst, Vendu. So the argument goes over and over. You have the right of it, Lan, but we, we are neither. We are going to wait. I sent a messenger to shaman the tribes. Our home is your home. So. Chief Sal is just giving us some sort of uh, kind of welcome. He welcomes us to this uh, little town. We are visit now uh, Horgus. We will visit the hut and Anevia and also the shops. But first, I'm going to give the first level up. And I love this part. <laughs> so let's level up our Demon Slayer. I'm not going to try any strange mix and uh, multi-class because I'm not that good I think to uh, calibrate properly and I think that the Demon Slayer is a great subclass so I will, I will try that. I will boost the perception. 
I will boost the mobility um, and I will boost the lore uh, with nature. I still have one, so athletics also. Okay. And now we have to, fi uh, to find a combat style. Archery. Menacing. Dazzling display, power attack, and intimida intimidating prowess. Okay. Two-handed weapon. Two-weapon combat, combat or weapon and shield. I am going for a two-weapon combat because at a certain point I will take fi finesse and I want to um, fight with a short sword and, and a dagger. And the first... The first skill that I take is the two weapon fighting, I would say. So, yeah, two weapon fighting. Um, your penalties on attack rolls for fighting with two weapons are reduced. Let's get, let's take this one. But I will have to wait until I have finesse in the next turn. Uh, to actually use it because I've done a mistake when I've created a character and I picked dodge instead of finesse. That was my mistake, but I can still uh, stick to the crossbow so far because uh, our character uh, Arik is doing very well also with, with the crossbow. So so far so good. Then we take the paladin um, and let's continue. I'm not using the standard uh, uh, the standard. Uh, development for my characters i'm going to customize them all i will give a uh, um athletics no not really athletics is not helping with the armor and the shield also trickery uh, i would probably go, i'm going to give some lore, uh, knowledge of the world which is quite interesting perception is not bad but i i it's it's wasted here i will give persuasion It's not wasted. Or, or maybe I might give her a use magic devices. Why not? Having three points in use magic devices might be useful at a certain point. So we learn the lay on hands, lay on hands on self, lay on hands others, and we get the divine grace. So the charisma bonus now is summed up to uh, all the saving throws. So we have a plus two to all the saving throws for our character. Then we start with the Spirit Hunter, we get a Hex, a Shaman learns a number of magical tricks called Hexes, which grant her powers or weaken foes. At the second level, uh, a Shaman learns a 1x, at the 3rd, 8th, 10th, 12th, 16th, 18th and 10th, the Shaman is learning more. Okay. Uh, very important, using a Hex is a standard action. That doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity unless otherwise noted. The saving throw to resist is equal to 10 plus 1 half, uh, the shaman's level. So in this case, it would be 11 because the shaman's level is now 2. All right, let's continue. Here we give a point in uh, trickery because she's very good in that and lore religion. And which kind of eggs we can pick. Uh, I'm going to read them all very quickly and I will pause the recording and then I will decide. Okay, I think I'm going to get healing because at the moment I need a, a sort of um, uh, cleric in my group and I, I really need to heal fast and often, so I will take the healing uh, hex. Um, in this case, this act cure a light wound spell using the shaman caster level. Once a creature has benefit from the healing guest, it cannot benefit uh, again for 24 hours, but yeah, sure. I, I Anyways, that's really good. So, for example... I, I would just show you, uh, I could click and, and heal uh, Sela. Now, as a Zen Archer level 2, we are going to give Athletic and Mobility uh, to our LAN, and then also Perception, which is also extremely important. And as a Zen Archer bonus, we can get the Precise Shot. You can shoot or throw ranged weapons to an opponent engaging melee without taking the minus 4 penalty on your attack roll. Or deflect arrows or rapid shot when making a full attack with a ranged weapon you can fire one additional time this round at your highest bonus all of your attack take a minus two penalty when using rapid shot so um the precise shot is actually then leading to the cluster shot the improved precise shot and the snapshot i take the precise 
and we take the way of the bow, long bow. Complete. And let me check if now we are using a long bow or a short. We are using a long bow. Good. Vendwag. Okay, we are, we are going to. Um, we are going to leave Vendwag. Uh, by the way, I, I just noticed that there is no press selection because now I'm playing at a higher difficulty level. That's that's good. That's good. I just give to random um, skills because she will not be part of our of our group. Okay. She could get a rapid shot, for example. Why not? Okay, guys, I think that for today uh, we played enough and uh, I hope that you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun, so thank you for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a thumbs up and a comment. Please tell me what you think about this gameplay. So far, so good. So I wish a great day or evening or morning and we see each other next time.